Oh, do you get this on your helmets? I hate this. And when this happens, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can smooth that out. So let's check this out in Bamboo Studio. I'm gonna show you how you can get rid of this like that. Okay, to do this, all you gotta do is select your model and you'll see an icon right over there that says variable layer height. Click it and you can go ahead and take this arrow and adjust it all the way to quality. And then you hit adaptive and that's going to start adapting the layers uh, to give you that kind of smooth finish. And so they will gradually adapt the layers so that there's less of a differentiation. The next thing you're gonna do is go down to smooth. You can definitely leave it at five if you want. You can increase it. And once you hit smooth, now you've gone ahead and made it a little bit more smooth on the top. Now you can definitely adjust this further. You could click it a few more times if you like. And it, the idea is that each and every time that it does that, it's kind of smoothing it. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and send it to the printer and then compare the results. So after changing the orientation, I was able to move that circle up to the top where it's a lot less noticeable on the front. But unfortunately, I ended up with other issues because in adding the variable layer height, while this is smoother, it's still clearly visible. Even though it is at the top, it's less annoying to me. But along the way, it came up with other imperfections. And that's not to say that I didn't get tons of other issues all across the way. Just look at this disaster of a print. So it goes to show you, Yosh really knows what he's talking about and his orientation right now is coming out to be the best, but I'm not giving up. I want to go ahead and try to see if I could squeeze out something that might be better, maybe try even a different filament. I just would love to see if I can get this to a better orientation and with different settings to really come out as good as this one, but just with a less noticeable version of this. So I'm going to try it out.